hi guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials so in the last tutorial you saw how we created a measure to multiply two columns which we created over here to identify the total sales however we ended the video or we ended the last tutorial saying that so if we click on let's say household as a category our total sales amount gets filtered as well likewise if i filter on a particular year the total sales amount gets filtered however my uh, expectation is that this particular card should not get filtered even if i choose any of the filter here on the uh, dashboard i want to keep this particular visual constant throughout even if you select any of the filter on the dashboard so let's get started with this tutorial so a very simple change that you will have to make for the measure that we created here is that uh, after the sum x formula over here all you have to add is three letters that is called as all so you need to add this open bracket and close it at the end of the name of the table over here so basically what this is doing is that it is trying to sum all the values irrespective whether the filter has been applied or not and return the multiplication that we have over here so let us press enter now so if i click on 2018 you will see that this remains constant and it is not changing even if i click on any of the category over here this is remaining constant now so yeah this is how you do it guys i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials